Hey, what's up? I'm Diamond. Welcome back to my channel, Diamond Star. Today, I am bringing you a video about the dorms. I got an email from a subscriber asking about like some of the dorms that are at UNC. So I just decided to make a video about it because I was emailing her back and I was like, this is a lot of information. Actually, I can just put this in a video and it'd be easier to follow. So that's what I decided to do. The first set of dorms that I want to talk about is Corey, Craig North, and Horton. I stayed in Horton my first semester at UNC and that is actually the honors dorm but all three of those dorms are the exact same if you want to see what horton looks like i have a video up which is my dorm tour that video is of a double room uh, my roommate and i both live in the room at the time of the time that i filmed that video so if you want to see what a double room looked like in corey craig north or horton just pop over to that video which will be linked somewhere up here or in the description box below so you can watch that. Before I get to the next set of rooms, let me also mention that there are bus stops in front of each of those dorms. Also, Corey, Craig North, and Horton are all, are all on South Campus. So South Campus is about a 15 minute walk from North Campus. And you know, that's a lot when you first get there, you don't know where you're going, you wanna make sure you get your classes on time, all that good stuff. So if you don't wanna stay on South Campus, you got your options to stay on North Campus. So ACOT, Graham, Everett, and Stacy are all on North Campus. Most students are actually on South Campus, but some students do stay on North Campus. If you stay on North Campus, you're gonna be closer to your classes and you get to avoid that 15 minute walk that I just mentioned. Also, you're closer to Lenore Dining Hall versus being closer to Rams Dining Hall or Chase Dining Hall, whichever one that you will want to call it. I believe those are communal bathroom halls. So you have to share a bathroom with your whole entire floor versus at Corey, Craig North, and Horton, where you just had a bathroom between two rooms. So only four people share a bathroom. You will have to share a bathroom with your whole hall. Also, I believe that those dorms, ACOT, Graham, Everett, and Stacy, are all gender specific. So it's all boy dorms or all male dorms and it's all female dorms. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would definitely look into looking into those dorms. So you don't have to worry about cleaning the bathroom. You have UNC staff to come in and clean up that bathroom for you. Lastly, I do not believe they have cement block walls. They actually have like the regular, you know, regular walls. So it might be easier to decorate. Moving on to Craig, Hinton James, and Erring House. If, out of the three, I would suggest Hinton James. Hinton James is the biggest dorm that we have on campus. You get to meet a lot of people just by staying in the dorm alone. And But the thing is, moving in and out can be a little difficult because I believe there's 10 floors Hinton James that both Craig and Erring House have a lot of floors. So just keep that in mind and just as like an FYI, there's nothing wrong with Craig dorm, but it is called Crossy Craig because a little old, just a little bit, but I mean, it's not the worst place to live in the world. It's just basically it's the same thing as Hinton James Aaron House. The, the layout's the same to a, to a certain extent. The rooms look the same. It's not really too much to be concerned about. The room sizes, they're, they're okay. You know, just your stereotypical um, cement block dorms. But those are suite style, so you're gonna have about four rooms, four rooms to a suite, and it's gonna be like eight people share one bathroom. You don't have to clean up that bathroom. UNC staff will come in and clean up that bathroom. Another thing about all three dorms is that they're kind of outside. So they do have a lobby for each of them. There are elevators to get you to the floor that you need to get to or stairs, whichever one you prefer to take. But once you get to your floor, you have to walk outside onto a breezeway to be able to get to your room because that's how the suites are connected. Like as soon as you open the door, you're directly outside. There's no preparation for being outside. Well, this is all that I have for this video. And I hope this video is helpful to you. I hope it gave you a little bit of the insight of the different dorms that they have you choosing between. If you have any more questions about UNC specifically or college life in general, don't hesitate to comment them down below. Also, you can DM me on my social media or email me on my email located in my description box below. Don't forget to like the video if you found the video helpful. And don't forget to share it with a friend who also may be going to UNC Chapel Hill. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't hit, miss any more informative videos. For now, I am Diamond Star and I'll see you in the next one.